What happened this week? News, politics, crimes. Listen up, y'all, as we rhyme with the times. More black and white than the stripes of a panda. There's controversy in Indiana, seen largely as a homophobic attack. Gov Pence passed the Religious Freedom Act, adding to the country's overall shock and awe. The governor also signed the bill in Arkansas. Connecticut, San Fran, and Seattle are banners. Walmart's likely lower prices, not standards. So urged by our country in the backers of hate. The latest sign version says don't discriminate. Activists say it's still a not up to snuff. Where's JLo to tell the haters? It's enough. Pop the champagne, wheel in the gourmet meal. Iran finally signed a nuclear war deal. In a series of talks, just where I was demanding, they came to what Obama coined historic understanding. But if what they signed happens in June, could the party be too much too soon? The new rules have Iran shaking in fear, because they're making a bomb now would take like a year. Others celebrate, but still some have a cow. What if I want to be a novel person like now? University, a type of gunman. Restricts on water? That's no fun, man. Better go back to picking four leaf clovers. Good luck, Spring in Nigeria's over. With Diane Sawyer, Bruce will finally speak. Catch y'all later. That's last week.